After Mim paired them up, they began to set up the camp for the night. Each of them opened up their pack and grabbed the tarp which was provided inside the container at the guild. They also pulled out bundles of rope. James slung the rope around the tree before he made a simple knot. Opening up the tarp, he began to set up a simple shelter for the night that he could sleep under to protect against the elements. It would serve to protect him against possible rain but also the wind. Compared to when they'd go on request into the forest, their current setup was much better. Usually, they'd have a simple water-resistant blanket that they'd wrap around themselves. It would keep them slightly warm, but they'd feel miserable during the experience. Once the sun set, the temperature would slowly begin to drop and it would get the coldest right before sunrise. Even though it only took a few minutes to set up, the tarp would be more than enough in addition to the heavier blanket that was available to grab. After finishing the single person shelter, James looked to see that the others had also finished. Being in the forest, there were plenty of trees available to use. Feeling a little hungry, James was tempted to reach into his pack for some snacks, but he decided against it. They'd soon be hunting for their food, and then it would be dinner time after it's cooked. He couldn't help but imagine a nice large deer and enjoying venison steak. Even several small critters on a stick sounded great, though they tended to be annoying with all the small bones he needed to spit out. James glanced over at Maya, feeling confident that with her skills, she could quickly take down a larger animal for dinner. A deer would likely be too large for just him to eat. It could probably feed his team, so they'd need to hunt too in order to feed everyone. Maya was already carrying her bow, ready to head out and hunt for food for the night. James, Celine, and Maya, the three of you, come with me. We should be able to locate a couple of large deers for us to turn into an enjoyable meal. Mim said with a smile on his face, likely imagining all the food that they'd be able to get. Celine grinned confidently. Seeing the elf grinning, James knew that it was going to be a good night for their large group. It was helpful that Celine had already spied deers and other animals while she was scouting ahead of them. The chances were high that Celine would be able to track the animals. You sure that you don't want one of us to come with? Kate asked in a surprised voice. Knowing that Kate was worried about them running into monsters and not having enough combat power, Mim reassuringly said, It's better for us to be able to move quickly, even if we encounter anything we can't handle. Without speed, we'll be able to quickly make our way back, so make sure to keep ears and eyes open in case we run back. He said this while attaching two bundles of rope to his belt. Seeing Mim grabbing some rope, James copied the idea. The rope would likely be used to carry the deer back with them after binding their legs together and using a long sturdy branch between the legs. They quickly began moving away from the group deeper into the forest. It shouldn't take us that long to find a deer. Their tracks are pretty easy to spot and then it's just a matter of tracking them. Celine said confidently to them as they ran, maneuvering between the trees with ease. James was surprised that he was able to keep up with Celine and Mim. He looked to see that Maya wasn't having any issues either, and she seemed equally surprised. I guess the food that we had earlier really helped, James thought to himself.